air signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and those of you cross watching as well, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see um, what is it that your person wants to tell you but isn't necessarily coming forward and sharing with you. Okay, so are they keeping any secrets from you? Um, is there any disloyalty or dishonesty involved here? So we'll see what the cards reveal. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section. Alright, guys, let's begin. Bottom of the deck you have the six of cups here. Beneath that you've got the lovers here and the oh okay you've got some very interesting cards. Um, this is someone whom you're currently in um, a disconnection with, right? So there's some sort of disconnection or discord between you and this energy. Now this is someone who I feel like has hurt you because I feel like you're on the receiving end of the hurt and the pain here. Um, this is someone whom has betrayed They've betrayed your trust. They broke your trust. This is someone who may have caused a lot of pain with their words, their actions, or their intentions here. Um, there may have been a third-party situation here involved. And look, some of you may not have been aware of a third-party situation. But for some of you, I am getting threes coming up strongly. So there, there may have been an imbalance all along throughout your connection here. Maybe this is someone who was attached or was in a relationship prior to meeting you but they've never um they were never upfront and honest with you here so with three of swords energy this is someone who has you know who's inflicted a lot of pain and unfortunately you've been on the receiving end of this hurt and of this pain here um i feel like right now during this time apart your person is doing a lot of thinking i also feel like they're very stubborn right now because it feels as though they're waiting for you to reach out even though it feels like they're in the wrong they've mistreated you they've lied to you they might have been dishonest with you that you know they may have been involved in a third party situation here but for some reason and i don't know why the audacity they feel like you're the one who should reach out and you should reach out and, and um, initiate communication first um, why do I get that is it that because they've already texted you and you haven't responded is it because that you've you've blocked them or is it I don't know what it is it just feels like this person is waiting for you to respond and maybe because you were the one that's pulled your energy away after you know this three of swords situation um, they want to reconnect this is someone who I feel like has done wrong by you okay um, and they've lost you because let's face it, they mistreated you um, and they've caused you a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, which I feel like has caused you to pull away here. But during this time apart, I feel like your person is really feeling your absence. Okay, they're really missing you. They're thinking about you a lot. They're also thinking about what the two of you have shared and created together and thinking about, you know, just how much the both of you have invested into building this connection up, into building and establishing this connection and what the two of you have. They are very stubborn though, they're a very stubborn kind of energy here, where's the Emperor? Okay, very stubborn. I feel like this is someone who maybe they don't, even though they realize they hurt you, maybe they still don't feel like, they feel like it takes two to tango, maybe they don't feel like it's ultimately, you know, all of their fault. Maybe they are refusing to take any personal responsibility here for their actions and you know their accountability and the role that they played in this connection it just feels like right now they're definitely stalling things i do feel like they want to reach out and connect with you reconnect with you possibly rejuvenate and revive the connection you had 
but right now they're purposely stalling and delaying things. It kind of feels like it's strategic on their end, maybe because they've hurt you and you've pulled away. Um, right now they're hurting as well. And maybe they're trying to use their silence as a way to, I feel like they're leveraging here. They're trying to get results here. They're trying to get you to feel, even though, you know, they've hurt you, they feel very hurt as well at the same time. And they're hurt that you've pulled away from this person. Um, and I feel like in a way, their silence is speaking volumes. They are wanting a reconnection, but I just feel like, for some reason, they're purposely trying to stall things. And I feel like it has something to do with their inflated pride and their inflated ego. The fact that they're so stubborn. The fact that they could be somewhat childlike and very juvenile in nature here. I also feel like they're having a bit of a light bulb moment. And look, maybe it's not them entirely purposely stalling everything. Maybe the universe is saying, you need a little bit more time. You need to think about what you've done. You need to take accountability for the role you played. Um, so that they can get to this realization, you know, this light bulb moment here. Because I feel like right now they're trying to put things into perspective. They're trying to do a lot of thinking. They're frustrated with themselves. It's an energy that feels like they're a little bit bitter. They're a little bit brooding here. Um, your person knows that you are someone very attractive. Your person knows that you are someone who, you know, can be taken off the market quite easily and quickly. And they know that you have options. They know that, you know... Um, you're very attractive and you have no problems um, getting out there, uh, you know, forming new uh, connections here. And I feel like there is a bit of jealousy on their part. Okay, because this is someone who's of the mentality that, you know, if they can't have you, no one can here. Yeah, for some of you, I don't know that you've known this, but there, there's, there was a third party. I feel like your person may have lied to you. They may have been dishonest with you. Okay, the lovers here forms a bit of a lover's triangle, doesn't it? So your person may have given in to some sort of lust or temptation here. It may also have been an act of... Of rebellion in some way maybe they felt you pulled away and you left them here and they felt really hurt and just burdened here with a lot of pain and that you know they kind of externalized those emotions here in a way I do feel like it's a bit of a rebellion here since they felt as though you you've left them or you know you've rejected them this person then went ahead and I feel like you know, that they went ahead and sort of gave in, succumbed to their temptations here. You know, you've got a lot of illumination here. I do feel like your person here is trying to do a lot of, um, is doing a lot of thinking. And I feel like they're going to have a light bulb moment. And when they have this light bulb moment is when they're going to reach out and connect with you here. Communicate, try and, um, you know, try and reconnect here try and make things right, right their wrongs here. I do feel like this is someone who wants to work on things. They want to build on this connection. They want to come back here and collaborate with you. They want to, um, you know, really cooperate here. This person feels as though their side of the story hasn't been heard. There are two sides to a coin and to a pentacle and they feel like they're being misunderstood in some way here. So this is someone who wants to come back and work with you here. But I feel like right now there needs to be some realization. They need there needs to be some they need to do some thinking here. And right now, whatever it is going on between the two of you, this is a journey that they must undertake on their own. Because you can't do the thinking for them. They need to figure things out on their own here, guys. Alright, and these are your messages. So thank you as always for watching and listening. Appreciate sure your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.